Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm getting ready to make a traditional uh, baked beans today. I'm going to be using my uh, locally grown um, navy beans. I got about two cups right there. And I'm going to use my uh, homemade um, beet sugar molasses that I cooked in a previous video. That's going to be the kind of the main flavoring ingredient for uh, these guys. And I'm going to cook them all in uh, my antique bean pot. And that's what that guy is right there. I'm going to start this by uh, rinsing these uh, navy beans off real good. And I'm going to simmer them for just a Eh, probably about two hours until uh, they start to get tender and then we're going to add them with the uh, flavorings and the other ingredients in this bean pot here and then we're going to put them in the oven uh, at a real low temperature um, until they're uh, kind of soft and creamy and uh, tasty but anyway as I got this uh, going here I'm going to stop a couple times kind of show you uh, how I go about doing this Well, here's my uh, washed and cleaned uh, navy beans. Now, these navy beans here have been recently harvested, so they're not near as dry as uh, beans that have been laying around, let's say, a couple of years. So these guys are going to actually cook uh, fairly quickly for me. Um, navy beans and black beans in general cook very quickly because they're... Uh, not near as uh, thick as let's say kidney beans or pinto beans and the only thing that I got in here is I got a couple of uh, quarts of water and I got a uh, bay leaf in here for flavoring the other flavorings I'm gonna add into the bean pot uh, after these get cooked down and they're a little bit tender now the bean pot here this is just kind of a traditional crock bean pot this guy is I'm gonna say anywhere between 80 and 100 years old I've used this guy several different times um, and the whole point of a bean pot is, is it's kind of like a crock pot. You're just going to put this in an oven or you could put it out uh, in a grill, whatever it is uh, that you want to use for heat source. And you're going to use a real low temperature, like I'd say between 175 to 225 degrees. And you're just going to let it go for a really, really long time. And uh, before I put my beans and my ingredients in here, I'm actually going to take a little bit of bacon grease and I'm going to rub it around on the top of this lid and the top of this lip here and down inside. So uh, the sugars from my molasses and stuff won't stick to this. But I'm also going to add some uh, bacon and some spices and stuff. But after my beans are tender, I'm going to kind of go over uh, those ingredients with you guys as well. Just kind of wanted to show you what the inside of one of these guys here looks like. Anyway, when I uh, got my beans a little bit uh, simmered here and I uh, get ready to put this together, I'm going to show you guys what that looks like as well. Well, here are the navy beans. Um, they've been cooking about an hour and 45 minutes or so. Now, these were not soaked at all. These were just the straight beans that were just rinsed and uh, brought up to a boil and uh, simmered. I did take out the bay leaf from this, um, and I also did add about a quart of water about halfway through the cooking because most of the water did uh, cook out. As you can see there, there's still a couple of cups of water in this uh, in this pot yet and that's going to be kind of the base for the sauce for these uh, baked beans. I'm going to kind of show you the ingredients here, kind of walk you through this. This is about uh, 12 ounces of uh, cooked bacon. Um, here are my uh, regular seasonings. I got a good half teaspoon of uh, dried mustard, a good half teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper, half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of chili powder. And uh, here is just a little bit over um, a half a cup of my uh, homemade sugar molasses that I cooked from uh, my local sugar beets here. I've got good heaping um, third of a cup of ketchup. Um, you could use um, canned tomatoes, you could use salsa, just whatever you have, uh, kind of tomato based. You could use barbecue sauce. Um, Everybody's pretty much got ketchup though, so that's kind of why I'm going to use ketchup here in this recipe that I'm showing you guys. I got a half a cup of uh, brown sugar, and I've got about a cup of uh, chopped onion here that uh, come out of my garden. And uh, my bean pot here, I uh, you can kind of see here, I uh, rub bacon grease from the bacon that I cooked on the top edge here and on the underside of that lip and on the top of my uh, lid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those ingredients and I'm going to throw them in this pot here, mix them up really good, and then transfer them back into the bean pot and then that is going to go into the oven. And here's what everything looks like uh, after it's been mixed and I've got it into the bean pot. Now I'm going to uh, close this guy up and I'm going to set it in the oven and we're going to let this bake for a few hours. 
Well, here's my bean pot in the oven. And uh, one thing I want to mention about uh, bean pots, in the old days, uh, you would usually make baked beans with something else. So if you were baking something or making something in an oven or on a campfire, you would uh, mix up your beans and uh, you would put that container into either your oven or into the coals at the side of the campfire to kind of use that residual heat that was left over from what you were baking. And uh, you would leave it in for a long time, kind of low and slow for those beans to absorb that flavor. So uh, I'm kind of going along with that same tradition here tonight. Um, I'm drying some uh, hot peppers from my garden to make uh, some of my own hot pepper flakes. But uh, I'm doing that exact same thing. As these peppers are drying, that heat in the oven is also going to bake my baked beans in the bean pot. Now, this is going to have to stay in at least a couple of hours, but the longer it stays in, the better it's going to taste. So I'm going to try to actually leave it in a little bit longer than that. I'm going to check it from time to time to make sure that there's enough liquid in there so the, uh, the liquid isn't cooking off. And uh, when I think this is done enough, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you guys what the finished product looks like. Well, here we are the next morning. I watched this for about four or five hours uh, last night, but I started getting tired. So I just shut the oven off, left the bean pot in the oven all night. I'm going to open this up here, kind of show you guys what uh, what we got. And you can kind of see there, it's got kind of the baked bean look to it. I'm going to pull some of these out here, kind of show you what it all looks like. Put it over here in a bowl, give you guys a good look. And that's kind of the finished product of the baked beans. Um, the uh, sugar caramelized, the molasses uh, did its job as far as uh, putting the flavor into it. Bacon cooked down a little bit more. It thickened up real nice. It's got a real good look to it. Um, I'll guarantee you this is the best baked beans you ever had in your life. This beats anything in a can, um, hands down. And uh, most of it is... Uh, right from my local area here and the uh, molasses sugar I made myself. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to kind of jot down a little bit of the uh, recipe in the description if you guys ever run across one of these bean pots and want to try it for yourself. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. I hope you guys are uh, getting a little information, a little entertainment out of my videos. And uh, you guys have a great day.